You're right there, ladies and gents. How is it going? I'm out on my Touareg, my little tow rag, as you can see. Roads are a little bit damp, but it's all good. It's all good. It's nice and warm. Uh, but anyway, um, right, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Well, this is a experiment, a bit of science just for you, just for you bikers out there. Um, right, I've been working my way through various different biker cafes to uh, try and find the best biker bacon bap bake off thing. Yes. Yes, that's what we're doing. We're trying to find you the best biker bacon bap, um, and uh, or butty or or whatever. Um, <laughs> and uh, with that has been lots and lots of experimentation and science, and um, I've gone out of my way to make you and your life a better place. I have not enjoyed this at all, not at all. No, I hate bacon meat. Yum. <laughs> Um, but yes, yes, I'm going around all the biker cafes local to me, or at least the ones I want to spend my money at, and uh, trying to find out the ultimate bacon sandwich. Now, there are some rules for this. Uh, what I want from a bacon sandwich is white bread, availability of tomato ketchup, nice bacon, and a brew. It's got to have a good brew, a cup of tea or coffee, depending on what I feel like. But yeah, it's got to be a good, honest, bacon sandwich and uh, a, a brew to have with it. Now um, there will be bonus points for a uh, good service and a nice venue um, and uh, bike parking and uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, so uh, yes, you might find that the one that has the best bacon sandwich isn't necessarily the best place to go to. But it might be. Who knows? Who knows? I haven't been to them all yet and I am going to try and make this as thorough as I can. Uh, but like I say, I'm not going everywhere. I can't. There is a lot of bikey cafes in the UK. So I'm predominantly going to be sticking with the places I go ride. This video may take a long time to compile. <laughs> but please remember I'm doing this all for you. No, not for my belly at all. No, 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 no. It's all, all for science, all for experimentation and so that I can offer you my opinion on the best bacon and butty. Now I am going to go to quite a few cafes. I am currently heading over to Rikers. Um, the, uh, the food I show you will not necessarily be in order um, and I might have to revisit some places just because footage I've got of them in the past wasn't necessarily very good um, and some of the places I forgot to have a bacon butty. Um, yes, so I need to revisit a couple of them. <laughs> uh, but I do hope you find this enjoyable if nothing else and if you do like bacon, which uh, only the best people do, um, if you do like bacon, uh, it will give you some tips and pointers on where to get a good sarnie. Right, let's go find some bacon. Let's go find some bacon. We like bacon, 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 bacon. Keep that blood from the side down. As can be seen, I am at Rikers for the first port of call and uh, we'll. Uh, get parked up and go find ourselves our first bacon butty, our first bacon sandwich of this little experimentation and sciencey stuff. So as you can see it's got the largest motorcycle parking available to us bikers which is fantastic. Um, yeah, massive, massive motorcycle parking. Obviously, this is a humongously sort of world famous motorcycle cafe. Um, so it's all set up for this sort of stuff. Um, and they fill this car park up with biker related things at the weekends every now and again. Um, they've done a massive great upgrade to the whole place. You've got these covered areas with um, bike parking, which cars seem to be in. They really need to mark that up as motorcycle parking, I think, um, because that was what the whole ethos was for it originally, that you could sit down next to your motorbike where having your, um, your meal and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's lovely that we've got this undercover uh, outdoor eating area then over there they've got a humongously big screen where they stream uh, the uh, bike racing and car racing and all that sort of stuff uh, which again is nice um, they've got horrible music but <laughs> music is subjective so other people might like it but it does add a vibe to the place so that's kind of cool um, the only one thing I did find when I was down here a while back was when I was in the area there with the screen you couldn't hear the microphone when they were telling you your food was ready so I sat in there for ages wondering where my food was and it was in there getting cold 
Um, but anyway, uh, yes, Riker's Cafe is well known. I've been coming here for decades and decades. I've been coming here probably um, nearly 40 years. Uh, so, um, yeah, although I wasn't biking back then, <laughs> I would have been coming here with my dad and what have you. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a proper biker place. This, this is about as bikery as it's going to get um, regarding the locations I think we're going to be going to, just because I think this is probably the most well known. Um, but anyway, right, let's go into Riker's Cafe and uh, order ourselves a bacon sandwich. Right, okay, so as you can see, we've already got a bit of a failure here. Um, yeah, no sandwich bread, no sandwich bread. So we've got a bun, a toasted bun and a really noisy fire engine. Um, they had ketchup available, which is good. Um, and you could have as much squeezed in that as you wanted. Uh, nice, reasonable quantity of bacon and they've done it sort of crispy, which I quite like. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of fancy buns like this. I did ask for a sandwich and they did, in all um, kindness to them, they did ask if they could sort me out a sandwich bread, um, but they just don't have it. They don't have it. Um, so yes, we've got a slight fail on the fact that it's a, a bun, not a sandwich. Um, but anyway, um, it's a lovely venue. It is nice here and uh, me slating uh, their bacon sandwich uh, um, is not a reflection on the rest of their food um, yeah their other menus are quite tasty um, now i'm going to uh, off camera tuck into this and i will get back to you to let you know what it's like what it's like oh yeah right then um that bacon sandwich was not a sandwich so points deducted there but the venue is great the staff are super friendly and helpful um they just weren't able to fix up for me today um but the food here generally is pretty good it is pretty good it's a vast improvement on what it was under the previous owners um and i still came here even then when it was terrible so uh, uh, do we even care whether the food is good or not um but yeah the bacon wasn't the nicest bacon in the world um it was a bit stringy uh, so when you bit into it, you'd get a mouthful of the whole thing and yeah, and you ended up with nothing in the bun. Um, I didn't like the bun, uh, yeah, I just want a bacon sandwich. Uh, but the tea, the tea is tea. You can't really go wrong with tea, although some places do manage it. Uh, they leave the tea bag in so you make it as strong as you like and they asked me um, when I was ordering it how much milk I wanted. So um, yeah, customer service, good. Tea, okay. Bacon sandwich bit of a fail um, but it was edible and uh, yeah it certainly filled me up but yeah it wasn't what I wanted right well that is Rikers uh, done and dusted um, I will obviously be going back there I pretty much live there on my days off when I'm not at other biker cafes <laughs> um, but yes yes that is uh, Rikers entry for the uh, uh, biker bacon butty bake off be judged <laughs> I will put um, all the scores and stuff at the end of the video so uh, please do hang fire to the end of the video to see how well each of these places do and although I am judging them on their bacon butty and that is the pure um, essence of what this video is all about actually um, I will actually 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 I will actually 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 I will actually wait for the mice to change and talk <laughs> Um, I will be uh, giving them scores for not bacon butties as well so uh, if they are just a, a generally good place then I will let you know that too um, but we judge everything by the bacon we judge everything by the bacon here and that is a fact bacon 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 this familiar little stretch of road is taking us up to Newlands Corner and they've murdered it for us, taking away all the fun, 40 mile an hour and average speed cameras all the way along it. <laughs> uh, so yes, yeah, we're off to Newlands now to uh, find out what their bacon butties are like. Hopefully they are better than some of the others. There is beautiful views on the way up here though. It is beautiful views and uh, normally, normally to avoid all this rubbish of the average speed cameras, I would uh, trail ride to Newlands Corner. Um, but my dirt bike is buried in the back of the garage and my adventure bike I am going on an adventure uh, this weekend so I have not uh, thought it was a good idea to take it trail riding today um, <laughs> just in case I came a cropper and broke a brake lever or something daft uh, so uh, yes right let's get into Newlands Corner this is a sort of uh, a place of outstanding beauty and all that sort of stuff so you get a lot of walkers up here 
Um, that's the bridle way I would come out of, not bridle way, um, byway I would have come out of if I trail ridden here. Um, it's a big old car park, so in the summer it is often, often filled with motorcycles. And uh, just here is probably the best view right on this little pedestrian crossing bit. Lovely stuff. Yeah, in the summertime, uh, which we're getting to, we were getting to, uh, then uh, this half of the car park is near, nearly always full of motorcycles on a sunny Sunday or a Saturday and uh, half of this lot is too uh, we take over the place but on a normal days normal days we have this little slot here which is plenty big enough for the majority of us well that's a thing I'm not saying it's a thing I like <laughs> but it's a thing um, yeah Thomas TC yours is a little bit tidier than that isn't it eh? <laughs> But you get all sorts of motorcycles up here, old ones, new ones, dirt ones, road ones, um, and some very lovely customs and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, yeah, good little place to come if you're a biker wanting a brew and uh, something to munch on. Yeah, cool. Right, let's get some food. Right then, so uh, Newland's Corner is a bit of a bacon sandwich fail. Um, they do multiple sizes, but they only come in a bun. Um, and I don't like buns. Um, but yeah, medium gets you three rashes of bacon. They've got tomato ketchup and they've got a cup of tea, which is acceptable. Um, it's a bit busy today, so it's a bit hard to find a uh, seat. Um, but, but yeah, we've got bacon butty. And we also have a new friend. I don't know whose it is, but it's very friendly. I think he wants bacon. <laughs> right, so that was a bit of a bacon butty fail. Um, yep, yeah, it was in a bat, not a buddy. We wanted a buddy. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it was better than Rikers. It was a nicer bun than Rikers and nicer bacon. So that's always good. And, um, yeah, it was all right. It was cook cooked nicely. Uh, the venue's great, but um, a bit busy today. So uh, hard to find a seat. Um, but the weather's lovely, and so is the view. The tea's all right. It's just tea. All right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so it's a, a nice place to hang out. Um, it is a nice place, um, but on a busy sunny day like it is today, and this is uh, midweek, um, yeah, it's still quite a lot of people out and about. Uh, so if you're looking for somewhere to sit, not always going to be somewhere. If you do Green Lane though, it is a very good location for it because you're right in the middle of all of uh, the lanes around this part of part of Surrey. So uh, yeah, it is a good location. It's very pretty, lots of dogs, friendly dogs. I like dogs nearly as much as I like bacon. No, I like dogs more. <laughs> I'm not actually sure where is next on the agenda for this video. Uh, so um, yes, let's go find out, shall we? Uh, let's go find a bacon butty. Oh yeah, noms. So yes, some of you will be familiar with this route. This is the 272 and I have to be pretty pretty um, tough on myself with the speed limit here because they've got average speed cameras. And yes, we are headed off to get a bacon butty over at Luby's Cafe. Oh yes. Um, right, Luby's Cafe is a great little location. Uh, it's got uh, a big old car park for motorcycles and cars obviously, um, but it does fill up quickly when the cars come down because it's not a good shape. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's a pretty much a purpose-built biker cafe. Uh, it started off as a motor cafe for trucks to stop at and things. But motorcyclists, we stole it, we took it, we, we made it our own. And now it is an awesome venue for motorcyclists. And uh, people come from all over the place to it. The food there is kind of like, um, it's got like a double menu. It's got a basic menu and it's got a fancy menu. And some of the uh, burgers on the fancy menu are really quite tasty. But we are not here for burgers, we are here for bacon. So let's go find out if they've got a bacon sandwich of white bread with uh, a little bit of Tommy K. Oh, and a brew. Just as a side note, on the opposite corner of the traffic lights to Lumi's Cafe is uh, Coffee and a Machine, and it looks like it looks like it's possibly open now because there's bikes everywhere and stuff like that. Um, we're not going there though. We're going to Lumi's. Um, I don't know if I even really want to do the Coffee and the Machine thing, but we might do it at a later video or um, a tag on part to this video. Oh, nice amount of good to see V100 there, Mandelo. Lovely jubbly. Lots of vans in here today, pain in the neck. 
Right, let's go find ourselves this bacon butty. Uh, Phil 480 is due here any moment now as well um, because as you can see from the bike, we're off camping for the weekend. Um, yeah, with Big Pezza and a few others. Uh, but right, right, let's go find a bacon sandwich. Right, well we are down at the Lumi's Cafe and I've got my brew there which looks alright um, and my bacon sandwich which is a sandwich and bacon and tomato ketchup and white bread. Yum. Um, yeah, basically what I asked for and what I wanted and uh, that's all good. Now let's get it tasted and I'll tell you what it's like. Right, well that was a bacon butty success um, and there's a, a Phil 480 just about in shot there. Um, like I say, we're heading off camping in a minute. Um, but yeah, a brew bacon sandwich it was all good and yeah no face fires I've had a shave um, yeah don't know why just fancied it uh, but right yes Lumi's Motor Cafe um, it sells bacon it sells sandwiches on white bread with ketchup and a good brew it's all right it's all right now I'm not saying it's the best one yet it's not the best one yet um, but it's certainly up there it's certainly up there um, yeah, I reckon it's very close to first place that was so far. Where's next? Not sure. Let's go find some bacon. Seeing as we are down in this neck of the woods, I thought I would add another extra uh, bacon butty biking cafe bake off. And uh, we are now down at Chopper's, uh, Chopper's Cafe or whatever it's called. Uh, yes, Chopper's Cafe, all welcome, wonderful stuff. Um, yes, and we're going in front first, which is a mistake, but hey ho, it's what we're doing. Um, I've only been here once before. I can't remember what the food was like, um, but yes, we shall give it a try. Um, and there is definitely some good roads around this part of the world if you are down this way on a motorcycle. And it's a very pretty part of the world too. So, um, yeah, let's uh, find ourselves a cup of tea and a bacon sandwich for breakfast. Oh yes. Right, so the Chopper's Cafe gets a thumbs up for actually doing bread and white bread with bacon, yum, and ketchup and a good brew. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get it inside me and I'll tell you what it's like. Uh, yeah, can't wait for this, I'm starving. Right, there was a definite result from the Chopper Cafe. Um, their bacon was spectacular, uh, probably close on the best bacon we've had so far in this challenge series um, the only thing that let it down slightly was that it was just regular sliced bread um, yeah if it had been a bit more um, fancy bread without being posh bread do you know what I mean not a brioche we don't want a brioche I think that could have been a winner um, but yeah just regular sliced bread but the tea's good the tea's good and today the company and the sunshine's good too so all in all a great bike cafe well worth coming to and um, yeah yeah Good bacon bay. Right, so the uh, Chopper Cafe gets a good thumbs up from me. That does a definite good thumbs up. Um, yeah, very nice bacon. Oh, my bike's so heavy with all the luggage on. Right, well, thank you, Choppers. That was good. Now, onwards to the next bacon butty. Oh, yeah. Oh, well this is one of the grottiest days of this uh, bacon butty bikey cafe bake off challenge and I'm fortunately off to one of my closest cafes, not closest but one of my closest and that is the Chalet Cafe which I do hope is open, I do hope it's open because I am drenched. <laughs> oh, oh man, soggy. So this is quite a popular biker haunt when the weather's nice. It is a, a old school truck stop place um, where you get as many lorries coming here as you do uh, motorcyclists. But a reasonable sized car park, um, so generally there's always room for you. Um, it's a good location as far as uh, the road it's on because it does mean that you can uh, um, get to it from multiple locations and have a reasonably good twisty route. Um, down to it or up to it depending on which way you're coming from um, but yeah it's proper old school this is as far as um, the food serving here and uh, that should be its selling point oh right grotty weather boo hiss um, yeah right anyway let's go find ourselves a bacon butty right so the uh, bacon sandwich is a success it is bacon and it is a sandwich on white bread only two bits of bacon and it's on the crispy side. Don't have a problem with crispy, but three bits of bacon would have been nice. And a good brew. Proper, proper brew. Right, let's get this in my belly and I'll tell you what it's like. 
Uh, that was a good bacon butty. Um, white bread, good, nice and fluffy and tasty. Um, bacon was good, but only two slices, two rashers, whatever you call them. Um, but yeah, it was alright. It was good, good. And a nice brew too. Proper builder's tea. Right, I'm not sure where's next. Um, but hopefully it will be drier. <laughs> Right, let's get out on the bike, shall we? Right, well, that was the Chalet Cafe um, and a very tasty bacon sandwich it was too. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I like these um, honest uh, truck stop style cafes. Um, you kind of know what you're getting with them even before you walk through the door. So you're never feeling like uh, you're being misled by a menu or something like that. Um, Ooh, truck coming. Ooh. Uh, but yes, yes, a very tasty bacon butty indeed. And uh, a good old brew. Right, onwards, let's go find some bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. Right then, for those that know, um, this is Berry Hill, and we're heading over to White Waste Cafe for the next uh, bacon butty uh, biker bake off. Oh, yes. Well, it's definitely got the views, it's definitely got the views and a really good twisty road up to it. So as you can see, it's got a massive, massive car park with dedicated bike parking over there for regular times, but the whole thing just turns into a sea of motorcycles during uh, sunny days and weekends and bank holidays and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's only a small little cafe um, and it's predominantly outdoors. In fact, completely outdoors, unless you count that little shed thing. Yeah, so White Ways Cafe is a good little biker um, uh, stop off um, with great roads to get to it um, small facilities small facilities nearly always queues on busy days um, but yeah all right let's go see if we can get ourselves a proper bacon sandwich right then so the white ways bacon butty and brew is a win we've got white bread ketchup and bacon and uh, yeah nice friendly service I'll get back to you when I know what it tastes like. Now that's definitely better bacon than you get up at Rikers. It was a win because it came in white, but white bread instead of a bap. And uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know whether it's an uh, overall win, but it's definitely better than Rikers. The brew's all right. It's just what it is. Right, well that was a success. That was a success, a tasty delight for my belly. I mean, for this science experiment. It's a, a very basic place to go and eat. Um, I mentioned when I was pulling up in there that you've got that little hut thing, but they've taken the tables away from in there now as well. So uh, yeah, if you, if you want to eat in under cover there, you've either got to eat actually at the cafe itself in their porch or just stand up in that, that uh, little, little shed thing. <laughs> But White Waste Cafe is a very long established motorcycle destination um, and it's, it's a good one, you can see why, you can see why. Right, let's go find another one shall we? Another biker bacon butty bake off, oh yes, onwards! But at 50 mile an hour because there's loads of police around White Waste Cafe generally and the same with Rikers, pretty much all biker cafes. <laughs> Who'd have thunked it? <laughs> So this next cafe is a bit of a favourite of mine. Uh, we're heading down to uh, the Fuel Cafe down at Golding Barn. Um, so Golding Barn is where I've had my first introduction to uh, uh, riding off-road. Um, and I did a Yamaha experience day down there. So the location's got some fond memories. They've got a motocross track there. And uh, also the Fuel Cafe is really nice. It's a bit hipstery um, and it's a bit posh, if you know what I mean. Um, so it's not a back to basics um, truck stop style cafe um, but it is still a very cool place to hang out um, and the food is incredibly good here the food is incredibly good um, but let's just see if they're too fancy for a regular old um, bacon butty on white bread let's see grotty weather I'm done with it you know I'm done with it we're supposed to be having nice stuff now we've had winter we've had autumn we've had spring pretty much where's the summer 
So one of the uh, downsides to this place, although there is a big car park here, um, the fuel cafe doesn't actually get a huge amount of the parking space here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you're a, a big old group, then you need to kind of uh, work out how you're going to all park, because sometimes it can be a little bit tight. But yeah, it's a lovely little place this. Quite fancy, like I say. Um, but let's go find out what their bacon sandwiches are like. Yums. Right, so this is the Fuel Cafe and uh, a proper posh mug of tea. Best tea so far in the whole of this review series. Um, the bacon sandwich is a bap, which is a shame, um, but a good amount of bacon and it looks really tasty bacon there too. Hugely well presented. It's a wonderful little place this. It's a wonderful little place um, and uh, yeah, really biker friendly. Um, right, let's get this inside me and uh, I'll tell you what it's like. Right, well that had absolutely amazing bacon in it. It was just cooked really, really nicely. Tea, cup of tea, is a mug and also a pot and really spot on, really spot on. Fancy tea that, nice, nice. Um, but a bap rather than a, a sandwich, so loses points there. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really tasty and uh, yeah, highly recommend. All right, well that was a fuel coffee house and it is an absolutely adorable little cafe. It really is. And that tea, best yet and bacon possibly the best cooked bacon yet not sure if they've done that in an air fryer or what don't know but tasty only downside was that it was in a, a bun rather than a sandwich and i actually really enjoyed it even though it was um not a sandwich uh, but the rules is the rules this is the best bacon sandwich boy could bake off um so uh, yeah negative points on that just because of the type of bap it was but still tasty still tasty right then onwards let's go find some more bacon 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 oh yeah yum 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 right then well we are now uh, heading down towards the west beach cafe which is a recent addition to my uh, arsenal of cafes um it's a favorite sort of location of mine down here anyway um but having recently discovered um how nice the cafe is um i thought i would bolt it on to this uh, little video series um it is a bona fide bike cafe uh yes it's on the seaside and uh, the last bit of the ride isn't exactly exciting for motorcyclists but there is a good ride down down to it and um, they do a bike night um, my time travel uh, will have been to that bike night by the time this video comes out um, but that's uh, next week in real life times um, hopefully I'll have seen some of you there uh, but yes yes it's a lovely little location I love all the seaside and stuff like that um, the biker cafe is uh, very bike friendly obviously being a biker cafe but it's also a dog friendly cafe too so um, if you just fancy bringing your dog down on the beach for a walk it will be good for that um, but it's got amazing views from the inside the cafe and out and uh, I just love being by the sea so you get all that atmosphere of, of being on the coast which is something quite special for me at least I don't know whether others feel the same um, but yeah the beach the seaside it just brings back happy memories to me the last time I come down here uh, was actually to record this video um, but I uh, messed up the recording so this isn't my first visit here for this particular thing um, but uh, hopefully this time we'll get it right we'll get it right and uh, um, yeah there will not be the same issues we had last time with my stupid recording ability right let's go find ourselves a bacon butty and a brew and uh, look at that view lovely jubbly awesome stuff uh, beach looks like it's closed at this end um, but I think you can still get to it from over that way uh, but yeah yeah what an awesome awesome location Right, well that is a cracking looking bacon sandwich. It's a nice cup of tea too, um, with a good tea bag. Um, white bread with a good amount of bacon and ketchup. Um, and it's really nice, plump white bread that, um, really tasty. Um, right, let's get this inside me and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Oh my word, that was incredible. A really, really awesome bacon sandwich. Now I've got another couple of places to go to uh, before I can do my full judgment. Um, but yeah, the bacon sandwich there, I think that's um, the best so far anyway. Um, so we've got another couple of places, like I say. Uh, yeah, this video is turning into quite a massive thing. Um, <laughs> I do hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, a cracking cup of tea and a really, really nice bacon sandwich. Good amount of bacon, good amount of ketchup, which I put on myself. So um, yeah, uh, Fuel Cafe, they um, put the 
ketchup on for you, which yeah, I don't know whether I like that or not. I like to be able to choose how much ketchup I have. Uh, not that they got it wrong, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, this was the West Beach Cafe and um, yeah, the bacon sandwich there was fantastic. They do bike nights and stuff here um, and it is an incredible location. Just like, look at them views, look at them views. Um, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic here. And uh, yeah, I don't know with the sun being behind me um, how well that's going to work. But that's a the cafe there. Uh, but yeah, yeah, what a place. What a place. Highly recommend it. Um, let's hope the other two places can stand up to the quality of this one anyway right let's get on the bike okay so that's the west beach cafe and uh, a bacon butty right then i guess we better go find ourselves another bacon sandwich haven't we um so uh ease onward let's go find some bacon 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 oh yes yums so this next cafe that uh, we are going to um unfortunately is going to have to be a photo entry i uh, went down to it just before I came up with this idea and uh, uh, that was when I kind of thought of this whole bacon sandwich biker bake off idea um, so uh, yeah the ceasefire cafe was a brand new cafe to me I'd never really experienced it before and um, yeah it's quite nice it's quite cute it's very back to basics very back to basics and uh, a very simple sort of layout it's primarily there to support the other businesses that are in the little business estate there. Um, you've got a shooting range um, where you can hire guns or be a member and shoot your own guns, I think. Um, they've also got a, a tank driving experience there as well. Um, so it's kind of a cool little location for maybe hen do's, stag do's and that sort of thing. Uh, but also, um, yeah, it's a, it's a bona fide biker cafe with uh, um, the bike lights and all that sort of stuff. So uh, yes, this ceasefire cafe is down in Yapton and it's near Littlehampton. So it's very near uh, the previous cafe I went to, which was the uh, West Beach Cafe. Um, so it's got a similar uh, routes in and routes out and all that. So it's okay. So uh, got some nice, nice twisties around there and country views and all that sort of stuff. Um, but uh, like I say, the actual place is very basic. It's got a little bit of covered area so if it is raining you can cover yourself up with a roof um, although it is uh, primarily an outdoorsy place so the indoor stuff is just a, a marquee but anyway right here's the photo of the bacon sandwich sorry no video as you can see it is a uh, bacon sandwich with white bread perfect bit of ketchup yum yum and uh, yeah it was very very tasty I actually uh, was quite impressed with it uh, the bacon was nice um, the only downside to it was that it was it was kind of cheap bread cheap bread it was it was just basically a, a, a sliced loaf jobberoni from the supermarket and um, when you were talking about a basin bacon sandwich you can't really complain about that but when others op offer something a little bit nicer you have to kind of take that into consideration don't you so as far as basic bacon butty sandwiches at a biker cafe as far as that goes it was a bit of a win really it was a bit of a win um, yeah yeah the only downside being the bread not being amazing um, but uh, as a negative side to the place, and uh, this only a minor negative because other cafes featured in this have similar sort of operating hours. Um, yeah, getting to it at the time I want to get to it doesn't always work. Uh, hence why we are now doing a photo entry for them because I went down a couple of times and both times they were closed. Uh, so uh, yeah, that was my fault for not researching their opening hours. But it does mean that um, if you want an instantaneous bacon butty hit, it is a bit limiting. Um, yeah, I think they stopped serving food at two o'clock, which isn't a bad time. I and mean, they do breakfast and they do lunch, so they are open for the mornings. All I need to do is get out of bed a bit sooner, eh? All I need to do is get out of bed a bit sooner. So anyway, that was the Ceasefire Cafe down in Yapton near Littlehampton. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice little cafe. I uh, do recommend it. I do recommend it. All the cafes in this uh, video series I do recommend um, but anyway let's go find the next one shall we let's go find some bacon 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 oh yeah yum 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 so this next location is another cafe that I've only ever been to once before um, and that is the custom cafe it's also the last cafe that I'm going to in this little video entry um, so uh, yes this is the one that has to beat them all it's the only one that can beat everyone else 
because there's no more after it. <laughs> um, but yes, the Custom Cafe is a lovely, lovely cafe. It's quite a, a feature cafe. It's got um, a really characterful sort of decor and stuff like that. It's got a beautiful outdoor eating area. It's just up here. Um, it's got a decent sized car park. Uh, it, this is a bank holiday today, so I'm expecting it to be kind of a bit busy, especially as the sun's shining. And yes, I'm not wrong, um, which might mean that there are slight delays, slight delays in uh, getting served. There might not be who knows um, but yes yes it, as you can see it is quite a popular looking place let's see if there's a designated bike parking spot for me and there is awesome look at that they've even got a live band so one atmosphere points is winning Right then, so this is the Custom Cafe and an absolute win on the bacon sandwich. It looks like it's in really nice bread. Um, good amount of bacon, three slabs there it looks like. And uh, yeah, a bit of Tommy K as well. Um, the service today was a little bit slow. They got confused on my order and I think they possibly gave it to someone else. Um, but it is a bank holiday and incredibly, incredibly busy here. Um, when I came here before, it was during the weekday and uh, yeah, it was, it was absolutely spot on. And although I didn't have a bacon sandwich then, the food I had was amazing. Um, so I've got high hopes for this one here. Um, the staff here are absolutely wonderful, really friendly and very apologetic for the mix up. So uh, no points lost there at all. And they gave me a free cup of tea because of the time delay um, but anyway win 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 right let's get this inside me and I'll tell you what it's like and uh, yeah all right awesome stuff right well that was a, a cracking bacon sandwich um, yeah it's got to be up there that one does it really does um, slight frustration with how long I had to wait for it um, but they made up for that with the customer service in replacing my tea and uh, yeah all locally sourced bacon um, yeah lovely bread Cracking job, cracking job. Thanks Custom Cafe, that was really good. Right, I'm gonna get back out on the bike and uh, I guess, I guess we need to start thinking about who is the winner, loser and all that sort of thing. And are there really any losers when there's bacon involved? Right, Adele's about to come on, I've got to get out of here. <laughs> all right, well that was awesome, that was. Fantastic bacon sandwich, lovely bread and uh, awesome customer service and absolutely fantastic atmosphere there today I know it's a bank holiday so they're putting on a bit more than they would normally do um, but yeah really good to have some live music and uh, pretty good music too I know it's not always going to be everyone's cup of tea um, and I was quite grateful to be sitting a little bit away from it just so I could enjoy just myself as well as uh, listening to the music because you can get quite overpowering when you're sitting close but yeah wonderful wonderful stuff right now there's no more locations there are absolutely loads more locations uh, but I am not going to anymore I am not going to fit into my custom leathers if I have any more bacon sandwiches so I need a break from the bacon and I never thought I'd ever say that um, but what I am going to do is I am going to go home I'm going to look at all the footage, remember all the bacon, all the joyful, lovely, delicious bacon, and I'm going to come up with some thoughts and uh, uh, let you know which one's the winner and uh, placings and all that sort of stuff, and uh, then um, sort of rate some of the other locations that we went to here as well. But yes, rest assured, none of them are losers. Right, let's go. All right then, ladies and gents, this is it. This is the showdown, the final frontier on Bacon Butty Biker Cafe Bake Off. Uh, yes, I've gone to all the cafes, I've done all the research, I've done all the science, I've tasted all the bacon, so you don't have to, although I think you possibly should. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been down to 11 cafes in total. Um, yep, yeah, I could have carried on doing this all the way through the summer and found new cafes to go to. Uh, yeah, there, there are loads down my way um, and they're all biker friendly and uh, pretty much brilliant. Now, I do want to say there aren't any losers here because any biker cafe, as far as I'm concerned, if it's a fun ride to it and they sell you a brew and some bacon, it's a win. It is a win, whether it comes in a brioche bun, blah, 
or a um, proper bacon sandwich your white bread like it should do <laughs> um, but anyway yes so let's get to it shall we let's get to the scores um, there was a surprise there was a surprise uh, so uh, I'll just go through the cafes that we've been to just in case you've forgotten in case you might have skipped through some chapters you might have skipped through all the way to the end because you're a naughty little little sausage and uh, you didn't want to watch the whole video because it might be a bit long sorry about that um, but it's what it is it's what it is to do all this science for you it takes some time and it really has taken me a very long time to put this video together so right let's go through the cafes that I've been to and uh, um, then we'll talk about which ones provided us the best the best of the best the top gun of bacon buttons First up we went to Rikers Cafe, um, they were a very good location, uh, I mean they are Rikers, it's, it's as big as it gets really when it comes to UK motorcycle cafes um, and they've got a fantastic facility there, it's been taken over recently by new owners and uh, yeah they've really really thrown a lot of money at it um, and it is quite wonderful. Uh, so uh, yeah Rikers is definitely, definitely a location worth considering if you're out on a bike. After that we went down to Newlands Corner, which is an up for me. Uh, Newlands Corner I like particularly because I can get to it when trail riding, because there is a, a literal green lane that finishes right at Newlands Corner car park. So for me, that's banging, that is, that's banging. I can go out trail riding, stop there for lunch and continue on to the rest of the day. So for me Newlands is, is a really awesome location, lovely views up there too. Um, and then we went to Loomis. Loomis is another fantastic cafe, there's lots of green lanes all around that sort of part of the world. So um, as far as that goes, that's great. That is really great. Um, and also really nice roads too. Um, to be noted that there is a lot of police presence down there and uh, average speed cameras all along the 272 and there are noise cameras too. So um, yeah, you, those of you with noisy exhaust pipes, um, yeah, you wanna mind your P's and Q's going along the last stretch of the A272. Uh, but yeah, Newlands is a good little place. Um, and then after that, we went to uh, Chopper's Cafe because we were off on a camping trip. I've only been there twice before, uh, but it's a quite a well-known little cafe and it's in a great location. I mean, Wiltshire is fantastic for motorcycles and a lot of history down there too, if you fancy uh, finding some archeological digs and all that sort of stuff, it's great. I really like that sort of stuff. After that, we went to the Chalet Cafe. It was a very soggy ride to it. I'm glad it was one of the closer cafes to me. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a proper basic, basic truck stop style cafe that is and uh, I don't think you can really go wrong with them um, yeah really friendly service and it, you know what you're getting when you go to a place like the chalet cafe there's no tricks there's no hidden agenda there's no wasted stuff I don't know how to put it but the chalet cafe is a great one um, after that we went down to white ways which has got an incredible hill to clamber up when you're on your motorcycle really good twisties going all the way up to that um, but again you've got to watch out for the old police um, so if you're there on a weekend or a, a sunny bank holiday um, do keep an eye out for the police vans and police motorcycles and unmarked cars too same with the 272 for Loomis and up at Rikers and Newlands always get police around these places so definitely definitely mind your P's and Q's when you're going to these places but um, yeah yeah good good location lovely views and a great road to get there um, and yeah, food's all right food's all right but it's quite basic it is quite basic it's not very good facilities there after that we went to the fuel coffee house and the fuel coffee house is uh, um, one of my favorites it is one of my favorite cafes in our part of the world and uh, we'll go into that in a bit um, as we talk about the scores and stuff like that. But yeah, the Fuel Cafe is lovely. Not Fuel Cafe, I keep saying that. Fuel Coffee House. It's a posh one. <laughs> After the Fuel Coffee House we went down to uh, the West Beach Cafe which is uh, a new cafe to me, I've only just learnt about it um, semi-recently because this video has taken a while to make and uh, they're reasonably new owners and they're doing everything they can to make it a superbly awesome venue for bikers, dog walkers, uh, just people down in that part of the world. In the summer I imagine it will be absolutely mental during the days. Um, but on the bike nights, I think it would be a really good venue for us motorcyclists to go down there and uh, get some get some noms, get a brew and have a natter and talk bikes with everyone else that goes down to it. So the West Beach Cafe is a good one. I'm, I'm, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. 
After that, we went down to the ceasefire cafe. Uh, there was a bit of a fail on my part. Um, my video uh, failed to start with, and then every time I went there afterwards, uh, yeah, I had problems with them being closed, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, the chalet cafe also has limited opening hours too, so they're not the only one with limited hours, but because the chalet cafe is closer to me, um, it's, it's easier for me to get to it when um, uh, the time is is, is of a uh, premium um, so yeah the ceasefire cafe is nice it's all right it's a uh, it's a very honest sort of place um, it's not primarily a motorcycle place but it's absorbed it and it's done it well it's done it well and then the final one we went to was the custom cafe and again a new one to me um, but one I'm also incredibly um, impressed with and uh, yeah yeah the custom cafe I think is up there on my um, top cafes to go to so what we're going to do now, we're going to go through some of the scorings and uh, some of the things I've judged them on and then I'll give you, I'm not going to give you all of them in scores because I don't think that's particularly fair, but I'm going to give you my top three and uh, tell you why. Now, in third place, excuse me, in third place, it was an absolute surprise to me. Um, yeah. It was a place that gave us a fancy bun. There was no sandwich, there was no white bread, but going by the scores I've got here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's gotta be Fuel Coffee House. To be honest, they would be in second place if they'd done it in white bread, because we got the rules of the scores for this competition, uh, for this uh, uh, challenge, this bacon bake-off, uh, because the whole point of this was a bacon butty, and that's a sandwich. If it was a bacon bap, they'd have won. They would have won. Um, but, yeah. It probably was one of the tastiest delights I've ever eaten. And it got bonus points. One for the lovely location, as in the, the atmosphere inside the place. It's really quite chilled and mellow. And uh, every time I've been there, it's been lovely. Uh, but, um, yeah, that pot of tea in a mug. Posh mug. I like mugs. Um, yeah, I really like that. I really like that. So that tea, that tea that they gave us with that, um, got it absolute bonus points, which pretty much wiped out the fact that the bun was a bun instead of a sandwich. So well done to the Fuel Coffee House. You've uh, uh, shown that you are an amazing, amazing location to go to, and I highly recommend you. In second place, in second place, again, was one of the latter ones that we went to visit. It was the Custom Cafe. And again, they had some issues with uh, my visit there this time. Um, they lost my order, basically. I think they gave it to someone else by accident. They had a new waitress or something like that. And uh, these things happen, it's fine. It's fine, it's how they walk back from these and fix things up. Um, and it wouldn't have happened had I been there during the week on a regular day like I normally do for like cafe visits um, but because I went there on a bank holiday it was heaving and they had an amazing atmosphere the music there was great um, yeah okay not everyone's cup of tea and I was quite glad to leave when I did because of the old Adele song um, but yeah, it was good it was good it was a really really nice fun um, place to be beautiful beautiful uh, location and uh, fantastic atmosphere, like I say. Um, the bread wasn't as good as first place, but it was there, it was it was up there, and the bacon was lovely, and the fact they gave me the customer service um, to apologize for the, the mix-up, um, they gave me a free cup of tea, uh, then uh, that rectified that, cancelled that out. So um, yeah, yeah, the Custom Cafe, you are number two on the Bacon Butty Biker Cafe Bake Off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, so that leaves number one, that leaves first place, and uh, I think you probably already know who it's going to be. It's a cafe that I've recently um, discovered with new owners and a new vibe, and it's just lovely. It really is lovely, and it just, it's got nostalgia for me because I used to spend so much time down in that location when I was a lad. Uh, maybe that's why I'm, I'm liking it, maybe that's why it's getting higher scores, uh, but the food there is amazing um, and because it's a cafe rather than like a franchise or anything like that, they can adjust, they can adapt and they can make whatever you want. I went there recently and instead of having just a bacon butty, I had a BLT and they were quite happy to throw some lettuce and some tomato into my sandwich for me and it was amazing. So um, yes, first place. 
is to the West Beach Cafe. And they do regular bike nights there as well now. They've just started and uh, I'm promoting them a little bit because for me, it is the cafe I wanna to go to. It's a beautiful location. Um, so do come down on the next bike night. I uh, put a link up to that I'm going down to. It'd be lovely to meet you if I haven't met you already. Um, and if I haven't met you already and you didn't hate me, it'd be lovely to see you again. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the scores. That's the scores. The first, um, uh, second and third place on this Biker Cafe Bacon Butty Bake Off. Um, thank you to all who participated. There were no losers. All the cafes that I mentioned here were fantastic. And I will happily spend my money in any one of them, even if they don't do the best bacon sandwich. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, what we've got is we've got a bunch of other cafes here that I've not scored, although I have scored, I have scored them, I know the scores, uh, but um, yeah, just some sort of memorable bits from them. Uh, Rikers has got an incredible facility there, so definitely don't count that one out, even though it was the worst bacon sandwich. They've got a new menu, um, they're owned by people that own another franchise called Smith & Weston. Uh, if you're not local to my area, you might not have heard of them, but they do fantastic food too, um, and they're doing everything they can to change the reputation of the place from the bad food that it used to have into this new more modern place with uh, motorcycle racing being shown, MotoGP, World Supers, all that on the big screen, um, lots of covered areas to sit in and uh, yeah it's, it's just a wonderful wonderful location and uh, applause to all the Rikers um, for what they've done to turn this little place around for us. Um, another one that's notable would be uh, the Chalet Cafe. I really like it there. It's bare bones, back to original whatever uh, cafe should be. Yeah? You go there, you get a mug of tea in a mug, you know, not a paper cup or whatever. Um, it's a builder's brew. It's not the best tea bag but it's the, one of the best brews you're gonna get because it's a builder's brew. Um, the bacon sandwich is perfectly honest. It's in white bread and it was good. Um, it's just simple food. You know what you're getting when you go there. It wasn't the best, but it certainly wasn't the worst. And I'm quite happily spend my money there in the future. Um, Newland is great because of the trail riding. Loomis is great because of the 272, but watch out for the police. Um, then you've got uh, Ceasefire Cafe, to be honest. I like them and I will go there again, but it's probably lowest on the list here of all the places just because it's a bit fiddly to get to and uh, their opening hours are a bit restrictive for me and and yeah, the, the food was pretty average. It was good, it was fine, not, don't get me wrong, but um, out of all the places here, uh, I think that was lower on the list, but I definitely think it's notable and definitely think it's worth going down to if you're in that part of the world. By the way, what do you think of the haircut, eh? Does he look a bit better? As if I look less of a tramp. <laughs> uh, this has been a mammoth video and it's being made longer by the fact that I keep talking here right now. So I do apologize for how long this video is. I have put chapters in it so you can kind of skip to the, uh, the cafe that's more local to you to see my thoughts on it when I went there. Um, and uh, obviously you can skip to the end, this bit here where I do the roundup. Right, so if you fancy visiting any of these cafes, I will put links down below to all 11 of them um, with their websites if they've got them and uh, their social media websites and stuff like that. Uh, do check them out if any of them are local to you and if you wanna go down to their bike nights and stuff like that. Um, but I highly, highly recommend getting down to the West Beach Cafe, Fuel Coffee House and the Custom Cafe. They're all wonderful. Um, uh, yeah, they're, 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 they're the creme de la creme. Um, there are cafes that I didn't go to in this intentionally. There's other cafes that I just didn't have time for. Um, there are bacon butties available elsewhere, but these are the ones I recommend and I love, and I will definitely go back and have some more once I've uh, maybe had some lettuce or some vegetables or something to even out the bacon. <laughs> Oh man, uh, what an awesome, awesome, fun video this was to make. I do hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a long video. I don't know whether you're even here now, um, but please uh, do check out each one of these places. Um, I guess that's it really, I guess that's it. So thank you very much to all the cafes I went to. I paid for my bacon sandwich and brew in every single one of them. I didn't get any freebies. I didn't get all prima donna or anything like that. This one was uh, personal scientific experimentation and uh, that kept it all fair game I think um, yeah yeah right I guess that's it um, right 
If you've enjoyed this video and you haven't done so already, please do click that subscribe button. It'd be brilliant to have you come back for some more. I don't just eat bacon sandwiches, I ride trail bikes, I ride adventure bikes, I go camping, motor camping, and uh, track days occasionally, and sports bikes and road bikes and just bikes, bike, bike, bikes. Uh, so there's bound to be something on here that you're gonna like if you are a motorcyclist. Um, yeah, if, again, if you like this video and you like bacon and you like motorbikes and you like all things awesome, do please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you didn't, you know, don't like that, when you're one of those vegetarians, um, you can always give it a little thumbs down. Talking of vegetarians, the Fuel Coffee House, um, the uh, owner of that, she's a vegetarian, yet she cooks fantastic bacon. Life is good. <laughs> Uh, right, anyway, um, please do drop down a comment below and uh, yeah, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Keep that boy from his down. Yeah, you know, you gotta keep that boy from his down.